guys, welcome back. Too many projects, not enough time. I'm Andrew. We're in the shop here today with Ivy. And um, what we're going to do is obviously, uh, thanks to a lot of comments on uh, some of my social media through um, Instagram and uh, Facebook as well, um, about this set of uh, alloy wheels which came off the Range Rover donor vehicle. Uh, obviously, I really am not going to use these wheels though they will be on during the build they will not be the final uh, product so I'd really love to get away with not having the Defender eyebrow flares um, on the vehicle I'd like to have it look as stock kind of as stock 88 series one as I can obviously if I can't then I will succumb to having those uh, eyebrows on here um, so I was over at a friend's place uh, just yesterday and um, I happened to ask about uh, rims for the future for this uh, build. He's the same gentleman I uh, got the uh, chassis from and a lot of the parts for this as well as we go along. And he had some Series 1 military split rims. He's got a bunch of them. Um, they kind of bolt in through here rather than having that uh, kind of common split ring. I guess a lot of the um, Jeeps, World War II Jeeps, had the same rim by the look of it as this, or at least an almost identical looking rim. Um, so, just out of curiosity, I got this one just to as a test rim, just to see how wide it's going to be. Currently, with this rim and tire set up, uh, we're about three, three and a half inches out from the side of the body. Just curious, because this has got quite a big... Um, inset I guess and less offset from from it compared to this um, and compared to a lot of other Land Rover rims and I understand there's an uh, endless list of uh, Land Rover rim numbers of all different offsets and sizes and everything like that too. Uh, just happen to have these so I, I'm going to throw one on and we're going to see how wide it's going to be. Um, the original Series 1 these uh, tyres were actually quite well inset under the fender so Anyway, without further ado, let's get this uh, big thing off and uh, put this on just to see how how far out to the edge it's going to come. Because I am running uh, Range Rover uh, Range Rover axles under this, which are obviously wider than the series axles. All right, let's see what she looks like with these. They will be a much taller tire in the end. Um, personally, this is just a test because you happen to have it laying around there. We got this one on you guys and uh, definitely helped out a lot, definitely got a lot closer. Um, we're only about an inch and a half now off the side, so definitely closer, but I think I'm still uh, stuck. I think I'm still going to end up with eyebrows and a, um, a, obviously a different set of rims than this one. Uh, it would have been good if this had worked, but the problem is the ends of the axle here are still, even if I get an offset further in to try and get it in underneath. I've still got these that are sticking way out, so is what it is. Um, anyway, it'll look cool with the eyebrows on there. Just would have been neat if I could have made it work without them. Um, thanks for coming along. Remember to like and subscribe, and remember to comment below. Comments really help, and uh, makes me know you're listening. Thank you very much, and um, we'll see you next time.